Hey everyone, I've been getting a lot of DMs about my skincare routine, so I'm just gonna show you guys exactly what I do to keep my skin soft, clear, and flawless. Let's get started. Step one, face wash. This is definitely a must have. Usually I just use faucet water. I'll link the product below, but you should be able to find it in literally every single sink at home. My skin has always been a little rough, so I try to only use filtered water. If my mom's around, she'll help me pour the Brita. But also make sure that it's warm enough so that your pores can easily open up. Step two, exfoliate. The next thing I like to do is exfoliate from head to all 20 toes. <laughs> I do this about twice a week. You can get a little scrubber or a loofah, but seriously, it is not worth overpaying for things like that here. I just use the extra toilet bowl cleaner brushes and they work like magic. The firm handle really allows you to get a lot of control, completely scrub away anything on your neck, all over your body, every single dead skin cell, gone. Step three, cool off. Once I've exfoliated my entire body from head to all four feet, I like to relax for a couple of hours. I like to put on a robe or wrap myself in a big warm towel and just get super cozy. Your skin can sense if you're stressed and you have already done a lot today. This is also a good time to sunbathe a little, get your daily dose of vitamin D. Yes, girl, soak up that sun. And while I'm waiting to cool off, sometimes I will clip my nails just because they get so long so quickly. Ugh, kinda gross. <laughs> step four, massage. So a lot of people really underestimate this step, but it's truly the most important. Massaging is so good for you and your skin. It really helps keep it elastic and wrinkle free. I mean, just look at mine. <laughs> If you do this stuff daily, I guarantee you won't need any of those anti-aging creams ever. And TBH, between us, they're all scams anyway. Step five, powder. The last thing I like to do is lightly powder my skin. Depending on if your skin is oily or dry, you can also add a little lotion, rub it into those really dry spots like your back scales, the scales on your neck, the scales on your cheeks, the scales on your legs. It really helps all those scaly spots. It just makes me feel so happy, so relaxed, just like rested and refreshed. Okay guys, so those are all my tips on how to have flawless skin like mine. We all deserve to treat ourselves and just feel beautiful. So I hope you guys really learned something. Please try this out and tag me in your videos. If you have any tips for iguanas like me, please send them my way. I always love trying something new to help my skin keeping that radiant, vibrant look. Anyway, that's all for me. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Talk to you next time. Bye!